Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Hey guys, what's up today? Y'all miss me? I know you did. <laughs> I got I got this piece cut out this morning. I kind of sand out that edge. Sand down that edge and I uh, got that piece cut out. You can see that? And got me a piece of wood glued in there. Now all I got to do is uh, sand that all flush. Sanded my leading edge too. You see that it's not very thick up there. I'm just going to put a little bondo on the front of that. We're going to do some bondo and we're going to do some sanding. We're going to have a good time. Some bomber building action. Gonna knock down the high thing, high stuff for this. Get her close. Too easy to over sand it with this thing. Gotta be careful. gets kind of rounded, it gets rounded and tapers to square, but I want to put some filler in there before I do any rounding. You guys been watching the Olympics? Why? I, I think I invented a new game. You see all them guys going down them hill at the same time on them snowboards? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if they all had like composite armor and give them all like a, a ball and chain. <laughs> that would be fun. Maybe give a couple of them a club and put about eight of them down there. Same time. <laughs> that would be fun to watch right there. You can put like obstacles in the course, put like a big old hole here and there. A couple low hanging branches. <laughs> that would be a cool sport. But of course, they'd have body armor on, you know, so they wouldn't get hurt. But every now and then. Okay, go for this. Is just some cheap old lightweight body filler. This is the house brand. That's they said at O'Reilly's. A little bit of hardener here. my fine stuff until I get this first coat on. Yeah, I like this Bondo for doing plug work and stuff, but on your actual models, you don't want to use a lot of this Bondo like we do on plugs, man. You want to make an airplane heavy, you throw some Bondo on it. And a little bit is alright. You know, like I did the bomb around that seam, but anything else needs to be fixed right. And you'll come up with a heavy old airplane, man. I like to get all my my filling done before I glass like a wood airplane. I like to get most of my filling done before I glass it. 
using that lightweight, you know, white spot, you know, balsa filler stuff that they sell at the hobby store. Get, so when after I'm done glassing, it's very little filling at all. Which if you build right, you don't need a whole lot of filling. I get this first coat sanded, it'll look good. Then we'll be ready to bond it and uh, find all the high and low spots out here. Side, what nice square corners. Bam! See, when you when you glass in the, you know, you do that side and then you do that side, you end up with real sharp corners. Real nice sharp corners. Trim it when it's, uh, you know, still a little rubbery and, and uh, looks nice. That's the time to trim that. Even when you're just glassing a wing, that's when you trim your glass. Man, that woman on that game show sounded just like my sister. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that channel. Yeah, that sounds like my sister, all right. up and sand it how I want it. One coat of Bondo, you know, one heavy coat. Build it up enough to sand it how I want it. And I won't have to go over it two or three times, you know. Because when you build a jet a B1 bar ten minutes at a time, you gotta go, man. Or it just be the same video all the time. You guys wouldn't like that. So we gotta keep rolling. See, and this also has a little curve like that. I don't want to completely fill that out. I'll show you that rudder and get this done. It's not much, just a little bit. Man, that looks good already. I'm glad to have that done. Uh, this stuff's been sitting over there for months, people. I've been kind of dreading it. You know how you just got them parts over there, you just know you got to get done and, and just kind of. Then putting it off, doing other stuff, just knowing someday you're just going to have to whoop them and 